previously on Harvest Moon 64, we worked so late our wife went to sleep without us twice. Hey guys, Color Farty's back for more Harvest Moon 64 shenanigans. So... <laughs> Maria, it looked like you needed your hair brushed. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. So basically, our cows were a giant pain in the butt last episode. But hopefully, they'll be nicer in this episode. Also, I have a freaking ton of milk in my inventory right now, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And also, my main goal for this episode is to just give tons of gifts to all of the bachelors, except Harris, because he's not getting married. Because I really want the other bachelors to get married soon, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to show off all their life events before the Let's Play's over. This is too heavy for me. Please return it to the girl with the glasses. A gold pendant is included. Remember last time how Maria gave the shady salesman her pendant? Well, he gave it back. Looks like her words really got through to him after all. That's awesome! So actually, if we go back and talk to her, I think we can give it back. And it's a special item. Gold pendant brought by a peddler. Oh, what was... Oh, nope. Well, maybe we can give it back if we don't give her a gift in the day. That might make sense. Ooh, pink catmint flowers are grown. Not sure if they had last episode. They probably did. I'm really excited to get these flowers grown, because once these flowers get grown, I can get the final power nut. Oh! It's the festival today! Oh, shoot. That's actually really, really bad. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to milk all of my cows today, then. At the very least, I need to feed my chickens. Oh no, this is actually really bad. Making a temporary save state here, because I do not want to miss the festival. I can't even remember what festival it is. It's the horse race today! Dog, gone it! It's totally the horse race today. And I've missed most of them. I'm a moron. Okay, well, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna reset today so I can get the horse race. <laughs> get to the horse race in time. I'll see you guys there. All right, hopefully I can get into the horse race in time for the first race. I already missed the first race. Never mind. <laughs> That's okay, though. I've got a ton of medals left over, so... No biggie. I wonder what would happen if you entered the horse race, but you didn't show up. Like, what would happen? Honey, everyone is asking you to race next time. Well, guess what? My horse I'm not confident enough in yet. <laughs> Seriously, what's with everybody's obsession with me entering my horse? It's my side job. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm all welcome, what'll it be? How about looking at me, dude? I grow corn, and wow, you're inflating the prices. What the heck is fry? I must find out. Yes, thank you, don't eat too much. What the he what the heck was that? That was fry, apparently. What the heck? What? Is that like a fried cobbler of some kind? Hey, Cliff. I think you can win. Well, no, I can't, because I didn't enter. Hi, Artie! I don't know much about the horses. Ha 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 ha. Ellie, you say the same thing every year, don't you? I just thought that if there was something I could help with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Stop asking me! Not racing? Tobias, you keep saying that you're offended about Tobias. I, I'm not okay with losing. Hello? What? Do I look dispirited? No, I'm okay. I'm always ready to go for it. Huh. Oh, well, someone's a little upset, I think. Second race is about to be started. It's about to be start. On your marks, get set. I hope the white horse wins. 
but I bet Blue Horse is going to win. Blue Horse seems to be riding the Green Ranch Horse Cliff Guard. Come on. No, Blue. Stupid Blue. I only get 99 now, but that's okay, because I've totally cheated at the dog race. Do, 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 do. Well, if I get the Mega Jackpot, I might be able to get the stable this year. Even if Pickles wins, that's still not enough. I think tonight will be another one of those nights where my wife goes to sleep before I'm done with the chores, because... Wow, this festival takes up the entire day. And my cows take forever to take care of. And my wife is early to bed, early to rise, which I appreciate. In real life, I'm kind of early to bed, late to rise. I like sleep too much. But yeah. Maria's like the only girl you can't look like you're holding hands with, because she always has her hands uh, across her waist, as opposed to by her side. Alright, third race. Come on, white horse. How come the white horse is always the one who has really great odds? I'm kind of curious as to what algorithm they use to determine who wins. If it's just like, well, the lower their number, the higher the chance they have. I'm kind of curious on the specifics. Star C wins, so I think I get... Yeah, like 200 medals. Okay. And it warped me back there. Well, there are no prizes that I can get that I don't already have. Because the new stable is 3,000. Anyhow, the nice thing about this festival is I actually can stay up late, and it doesn't immediately end the day. Okay, I swear, next episode, I'm not going to just reload the save state to load. I'm actually going to... Stop playing and see if that cures the invisible egg glitch. Or rather, the egg force glitch. Alright, how late is it? Oh my gosh, it's almost midnight! My stupid cows keep me awake so late, it's the worst. Oh, the pasture. Maybe not such a good idea. <gasps> yes! At last! We're getting married today! Please come to our wedding, Gray and Poppery. Just like it says. At last! Hey, nice tux, Gray. What the heck? <laughs> that was an odd kiss. It looked like Gray was kissing her cheek while she was trying to kiss him on the lips. A little odd. But cute nonetheless. I love all the doves. The party continued until midnight. I was hoping Gray would get married soon. This I gave to him. I can believe his feelings, right? That's the pendant that I'm giving her. I want to believe. I think your words really spoke to him, sweetie. Smooch. I created up the eggs. I guess you can't just can't help feeling scared sometimes. What about? I'm worried about having a safe birth and whether I'll be a good mother. Yeah, that's where she's actually telling you she's pregnant. So this is advancing the pregnancy. Sweet! Hey! Hey, what's up? Hi, Artie. Do you know the Flower Festival? Yes! You asked me this last year. Yes, they're voting for the goddess in the square. Be sure to cast your ballot. So, see you at the festival. Maybe. Hey! Happy New Year! And, oh sweet! Voting for the goddess is being held now. Please vote when you drop by the square. Well, obviously, because I'm the Harvest King, I'm voting for Maria. Oh, hey! At last, all my moondrop flowers have grown. That's nice. Stu still hasn't come around, though, to comment. Like, wow! Those flowers are beautiful! So... Until then, gotta keep watering. And in the meantime, I can just steal Gray's flowers. It all works out. Oh no! 
look at the beautiful flowers, sugar pie. Which is more beautiful, the flowers or me? Silly question. Flowers fade in front of you, sugar pie. Oh, honey bunch, you're so sweet. Please stop making out in front of my farm. That's what happens when you grow a lot of flowers and grass in your farm. <laughs> honey bunch. Oh dear. The guy is so disturbing. Nope, okay. I was wondering if there were just too many visitors and I had to keep coming out for Stu to come and comment on my flowers, but no. I need to grow some of the catmint flowers. Alright, for those of you who don't know, I've been giving Doug and Basil an ear of corn every day, or whenever I can. I've been giving Lilia and the pastor a tomato every day. I've been giving May and the mayor a potato every day. And I've been stealing Gray's free flowers in order to give them to other people, such as Gray himself. <laughs> hey, Gray. Sorry. Huh? What do you want today? I mean, I was hoping to see Poppery, because she's supposed to hang out here at your farm now. Hey, Anne. Good luck in the local horse race this year. Thank you. At least you know I'm entering later. Hey, Poppery. I'm so happy! Thank you! I just finished watering that. <laughs> Running a farm is hard work. Hey, she's at a pink heart at last. You get up early and go to bed early. Yes, that's true. Yeah, so now Poppery lives at Green Ranch instead of the flower shop, which is kind of cool. Adds a bit more dynamic to the game. Must be a weekend. Hey, Mae. Got a potato for you. Ooh, thank you! That makes me happy. I don't feel lonely because I'm my grandma. Yeah, I'm glad. Hi, Ellie. I still feel lonely, but that feeling's slowly fading. Slowing fading. Don't go it, Natume. Is there anything that you don't misspell? Even though it's not you. It's not you. It's me. Oh, thank you. Herb tea is good in the morning when you just can't seem to wake up. Okay, he's back to normal as well. Cool. <laughs> I like tea. I drink it all the time. I should visit Kai. If I can befriend Kai a little more, I think he and Karen will get married. Got some flowers for you. Oh, thanks, man. Actually, I intended to travel further away, but the master and his wife are nice people, so I feel comfortable. And their daughter's beautiful. Oh, hey, kids. Hey, brother, there's a butterfly caught in a spider web here. I should help it, right? Yeah, but the spider might be really hungry and just about ready to die. So what should I do? Help it. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Butterfly. Be careful. That's the better of the two choices. The other choice is they get, like, really depressed. I like the strategy of milking the cows first, then talking to them, then brushing them later. This really seems to work out well. Alright, I am going to bed with my wife tonight. I'm not <laughs> making her go to bed early, even though I do want to sickle my grass. Yay! Artie, I'm getting married with Miss K- With Karen! We're having the wedding at the church! Please come! Heck yeah. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I like how he still has his bandana, but he's in a nice pink tux. I like how she invited the bartender. That's great. It ain't a wedding without Regis Philbin! <laughs> and the same dove formation flies by yet again. Bow, bow. The party continued until midnight. So the way that other people's weddings work is it makes one day go by, but... It, your animals are unaffected by that day, so, like, because you're unable to feed them, they get fed anyways. Hence why my chickens were still able to lay eggs and such. Oh boy, it's gonna rain, so gotta bring my animals in today. That'll take a good long time. I did some weeding. It feels good to clean things up. I have to worry about food, too, because the baby gets nutrition from my body now. Yep. That's how pregnancy works. Here, eat cabbage. Cabbage is safe. Just please don't cook it, or cook it once I've left and get rid of the smell later. 
Pinkhamid seems to have arrived. They will be sold at the Flower Festival. Nice. Oh, thank you very much. Dude, I have a full barn, a giant pasture, fields full of grass. I have best friends with your two kids, and I'm best friends with you. What more do you want from me? So, Anne, what do you think about your brother getting married? You're thinking about the horse race. Alright. Running a farm is hard work. Yep. How are they all sharing one house with one bed? This is weird. A lot of people are sleeping on the floor. Well, before I forget, I want to go up to the square and place my vote. Who will be the goddess of the flower festival this year? Cast your votes. You make the decision. Maria. If someone else gets voted uh, flower queen, can I still dance with Maria? I appreciate that. People far away can read letters, right? I'll write to mom. Oh, jeez, that got sad real fast. Thanks. I've quit thinking about difficult things. I'm too busy playing and stuff. I'll think about them when I grow up. That's better. Huh? Yeah, sure. You do that. Wow, is this for me? Thanks. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken, dude. I already told you. Come on. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. People who only want to be loved can't be loved. Um, no. That is a logical fallacy. Because if nobody can be loved before they give love, that means nobody can ever experience love. Because the first person who loved someone else, that person who got loved, didn't love other people. So... Logical fallacy. Well, thank you very much. Hey, Karen. Time passes so quickly, I sometimes feel sentimental. But there are good things, too. Yeah, farming is hard work, isn't it? Hey, Kai. New man. I took great care making this wine, so I want everyone to drink it. But at the same time, I hate to see it all go. Okay, nothing to say about the wedding. Okay, fine. <laughs> Kai's like, you know, I really love wine. It's like, um... I thought you married Karen. Only one cow came to me? Are you serious? Hey cows, this way. Come on. No slacking. What the heck, Sean? Get in there. Come on. My cows are being so difficult. Get in there. You drive me freaking crazy. Get the freak in there! That took like the whole night. It's already 9 o'clock! You cows suck. Don't think you're excluded from this, Sean. You're just as bad as they are. I'm stuck! I can't move! Okay, the programming for the cows. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. They should not be allowed to overlap. Because when two cows merge like that, it is impossible to get just one away. They are literally stuck. And nothing you do makes them separate. Because they always do the exact same thing the other one does. Like, that looks like one cow, but it's two. You know what? Maybe, maybe I should just forget about putting them in the pasture. That is so much... What are you two doing outside? Get the freak back in there! Nobody said you could come out. And stay. Oh, hang on. I need to, you know, feed them. I probably shouldn't feed them because, wow, they are being the most difficult bovines I've ever heard. Maybe saving and quitting the game entirely, maybe that'll fix the cow's AI. Because I don't remember the cows being this annoying. I remember them being kind of annoying, but not like they waste half your day annoying. Plus, I got a sickle grass now. Sorry, Maria. It is officially midnight. Great. Thanks, cows. Thanks for being so annoying. 
Hi, honey. I'm not mad at you, Smooch. Oh, thanks. Thank you, sweetie. It'll rain all day. I feel a little depressed. Not me! Uh, of course it'll be sunny tomorrow. I don't know what's weirder, the fact that I have force powers to get my eggs, or the fact that I'm actually, like, getting good at using them. Oh, I miss the sunshine. Really? We have one day of rain, and he's like, oh, this is terrible. Where'd the sun go? Does Poppery go in the house when it's raining? Does anybody ever appear in this house? Also, why is there one, like, red pixel there? Do they have, like, a secret underground lair? Oh, that is canon now. Hey, Gray. Sorry. Sure is raining a lot. No, it's not. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, mother-in-law, I have a turnip. Turnips are very good for you. They help your organs work well, and the leaves help control stomach acid. We select a goddess before the flower festival. Please cast your vote. I did. I voted for my wife. Duh. Because <laughs> I'm Harvest Kane. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. Loving and hating are very similar feelings. However, I could do without hatred. Wow. I have literally never seen the pastor have that sprite before, ever. Indeed, hatred is no good. Hatred leads to the dark side. Mm. Plants smell good on a rainy day. That in the wet soil. Heavenly. Oh, thank you. That makes me happy. Hello. It's so gloomy on rainy days. No, I like them. I like rainy days now because my freaking animals are easier to take care of. I'm debating whether or not when, when I... All my, all my flowers can go away, whether I will just expand my pasture to my entire farm, if that's a good idea or a bad idea. I'm kind of thinking it's a bad idea. At this point, I do want to fish, because you do need to catch a certain amount of fish if you want to get the best ending. It doesn't affect, I think, the final photo, but it does affect your, like, evaluation, which happens in year three, where your dad, Dwight Schrute, comes to your farm and basically evaluates, like, well... I think you did pretty good, and he talks to, like, a bunch of the different townsfolk. I'll get more into that later on in the year, or maybe year three. Year three should be really, really short, because you basically just play through spring, and then I think second day of summer, your dad comes? Alright, I am going to try the bar. Because I sickled pretty much all the grass I wanted to. And I really want to boost Cliff's affection so he gets married. Come on, Cliff. Come on, Cliff. Doggone it, Cliff. I hope people continue to write letters in the future. Let's both try our best. Hey, dude. I hope it'll be nice tomorrow. Well, here, I'll give my flowers to you. Thank you! Hey, dude. I have to work hard for a little while longer. That's why you're at the bar. Right. I kind of hope it's going to rain tomorrow. That way I just keep my animals in the barn. But I really do want to boost their affection high enough. I've got plenty of grass, so why not? You do not want to run out of fodder in the winter time. That's a big no-no. Potentially last day of playing? I heard that I should do a little exercise, but usually I don't do any good exercise. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there, Maria. It's gonna rain! Thank you, God! I have to worry about food, too, because the baby gets nutrition from my body now. But what should I do? Reading the maternity books just makes me more confused. Oh dear, sweetie, I'm sorry? Real life Artie can give you no good advice regarding, uh, <laughs> regarding maternity and, like, being a parent, because I'm only 21! I don't know anything about that. <laughs> come on, Stu, come to my farm. Yes! Hey, brother! Say, can I have one of those flowers? I don't have any money. How about if I trade you this? Heck yeah. Wow, thank you, brother! See, brother! Okay, that's why we grow all the flowers. So 
the Stu just gave us this special item. Marble, made from glittering glass. That's a special item, and that's what we're going to need to get the final power nut. The Harvest Brights want those. Alright, cows. I don't like you. You love me way too much. And two of them already merged. Oh, today's the festival. I did not know that. Well, haha. <laughs> Aren't I foolish? This is great, though. This is great. Lots of extra time to do some fishing or sickling, whatever I want. Hello, Artie! The goddess and her entourage are coming soon! Those are pink catman seeds. You can plant them from spring to summer. The price is 300G. Give me five of them to top off my flower card. Hello, the seeds we're selling today are seeds I found in faraway places. Try growing some of them. Welcome, what's your pleasure? We have some rare flower seeds. It's getting harder to obtain medicinal herbs. It's got me worried. The vote? I voted for Eddie, of course. Well, well. Well, hey! <laughs> nice to see you smiling. Hey, who did you vote for? My wife, dude. What a good smell. I love flowers. But keep that a secret, because boys aren't supposed to like things like that. Hi, spring is in the air. Do you feel it? <laughs> There's been an awakening. Do you feel it? <laughs> I practiced dancing with Karen forever. Really? You should receive a blessing from the goddess. Wish for a wonderful year. Flowers would be fascinating to study, but I'll leave it to the experts. Did I vote? Yeah. For who? Well, for a girl I think is a goddess. Oh, That's so sweet! They say if the goddess gives you flowers, you'll live a peaceful life that year. So why doesn't she just give everybody flowers to ensure that they're all peaceful years? It's not like war would ever come to Flowerbud Village. Like, what would that even look like? Oh, I, that's who I just had a great idea for the next Harvest Moon game. You have to farm during a war zone. And, like, you've got toxic waste coming out and affecting the plants. Doggone it, it's poppery. I wanted it to be Maria. Oh, man. Here's a flower for you. People say the goddess is pretty jealous. Really? Here's a flower for you. Hee <laughs> hee. May blessings come your way. Thank you. We want to grow flowers too, but the soil's no good for that. I'm married now, but the flower festival still brightens my spirits. Aww. Smooch. Hey, flop poppery. Here's a flower! You didn't give me one. You're this year's king, so you can dance with the goddess. Do you want to? Oh, no, I want to dance with my wife. <laughs> oh, no? <laughs> well, then choose another girl. <laughs> Sorry, Poppery. I think she wants to dance with her husband, and I want to dance with my wife. I guess what, everybody? We're doing the chicken dance. The chicken dance has come back in style once again. How come the kids are the only ones doing the chicken dance? The adults are just doing a regular old dance. Actually, they're just kind of walking into each other. <laughs> Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. Okay, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Doggone it! If I stop here, I'm not going to be able to, to reload the save normally. I'm going to ha have to use the save states again. That's okay. I'll just do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.